team. Me at C you know, team. Yeah, C they're team being, if they lose They're going to be downgraded to the and C guess, team. And guess what, bro? If they win, they live up to hype to be a B team then for today's are, event. They are authorized, Second. <laughs> certified B yeah. team. Now, <laughs> let's go to our match here. We have it's uh, Anthony versus Magomed, and the minus 83 kilogram Magomed is obviously we remember him from yesterday. Yeah, man, he's going through everyone. Is. My pick is Magomed for this match. Yeah, those of you who don't know, two points. Uh, man, he, this guy is really good wrestler. So this is submission fighting. Grappling. Submission fighting rules: first two minutes of each five-minute round do not have points except for the takedown. Yes. That's why Magomed is two, two. and zero oh up right now. Yeah. It's really composed. Like, if you guys been watching the stream from, oh man, I don't know. What's up? I'm in the screen here a little bit. Okay. All right, we good. It's just with the screen. Yeah, it's our screen. It's okay, screen. I, no I, I was hoping. That. Yeah, so um, I'm really excited for this match. So B team has to win to qualify for the next tournament. Forty seconds left until the point start. Reminding you guys if there's sweep or guard pass or anything right now before the three minute mark, there's no points until then. So it's do or die? For team, B team here. Yeah, pretty much. If you want to add a little bit of drama. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're here to do. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you think Anthony can pull this win off? How, what does he have to do? We were talking about this yes, strategy he has yesterday. To, he has to play. So much. Yeah. Uh, uh, I believe it was Patrick from Asai yes. Republic who fought Mag uh, Magomed. Yeah. And he just didn't have uh, the, uh, the strategy... To, to win that yeah. fight. He was playing more like old school old half school. guard. Yeah. And that's the game as we spoke yesterday for Magomed. That's perfect. Uh, that, for that's them. perfect for him. Yeah. He's so much so used what to is, it. So what does Anthony have to do in your opinion here? I, I think he has to play more like a modern guards, like, you know, tread more leg locks. He just has the to expose the heel. The leg locks would be the, the, he has you know, to the weak point. Yeah. A, expose yeah. a heel. Other There's than that, Magomed will be just, I, I see Magomed passing the guard, um, staying composed. Um, maybe Anthony is recovering back again, and then it's just going like that, and eventually uh, Anthony getting tired and Magomed getting the submission, or yeah. just you know going through the points. That's yeah. how I see it. Yep. But you know, um, this is a this is martial arts, so anything can happen. But that's just my prediction for this one. Who you were more impressed from the from the B team so far at this from tournament? From the big guy. Yeah, the big, big guy. guy. Yeah. What was uh, Anthony? <laughs> yeah. Is that, it Anthony or uh, Michael? I have to pull out the list. Did he look like a WWE wrestler. Yeah, he was really calm. And he was so... Seems uh, like he overwhelmed He's Anton. so aggressive. You yeah, know, I exactly. felt like Anton, Anton was a bit... Anton didn't get a second into seemed that Seemed like fight. he was a little bit nervous yes, there. He That's did how not, I saw He did it. not get any any uh, bite into that yeah. fight at all. Now we have a guard pass here, like we said earlier. Wow. So I, I think maybe Anthony will recover back again. Um, or who knows? Maybe Magomed will get more dominant position. Is Magomed doing a really good job. He's just staying calm. I think he's kind of, um, that's his style of just passing, being calm, top pressure. He's a really good wrestler, really accomplished uh, grappler for UWW. Yes. So a lot of people from the West probably uh, never heard of him. But it's very, it, but UWW yeah. is very big this yeah. side of the world. Yeah, if this guy gets like a visa to go to US, compete at Nogi Worlds, and you know, this he'll make a mark. Man, he's he'll gonna, make a mark. He's yeah. gonna surprise a lot of people. Well, let's see. Who knows? Maybe Anthony will. You get a lot oh, of you see, tough you got guys. Back. Yeah. In the UWW format, you get a lot of guys who yeah. feel very tough guys. They feel they're burned out uh -huh. from the wrestling, yeah. and then they come and you know, they try to pick a new sport. Yeah. 
obviously UWW has the grappling rules. Yeah, and important thing here to mention, Magomed is from more like a mountain area of Dagestan. Yes. And uh, the altitude here is also a little bit hard for the guys who are coming in, uh, not used from, to training sure. in the altitude. Absolutely. And they're plays a big, like, you know, they, I, I can see some of them gassing out and complaining that it's like, you know, they, it feels a, yeah. like as if they're out of shape, but in reality, okay. just the altitude. Okay. Fair point. And he, he seems very comfortable there. And, you know, as, as you know, that mm, not the major city, Mahachkala, but other places like with, like the village where he's from, uh -huh. they are like in the mountains. So yeah. I don't know what's exactly the number of elevation, but it seems like very, like I talked to the guys backstage, it seems like he's very comfortable here. And we had um, in a previous tournament some Dagestani guys visiting who trained in a, in a city. Uh -huh. They were actually having a hard time breathing here. Wow, so, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Interesting factor. So, what are they saying? What, what's going on in the corner? <laughs> Someone said, B team should not allow beards and only mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's kind of sick how their facial hair is opposite. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Muhammad the Magomed, his also name is Muhammad. He has no mustache and beard. And, and the other, guy and the other this, guys is just opposite, you know, no filling beard. out the missing points of Muhammad's face. The, the, the B team guys, they've got a little bit of the Errol Flynn look yeah. going with the, just the mustache and the little patch here. Wow. Yeah. They look like Two. Robin Hood. Yeah. How did your stream go with Salman? Were you guys talked uh, during the Asahi? Yeah, it was yeah. very, very interesting. Salman yeah. had his, his uh, take on it as well. Why? Man, it was interesting. I was watching uh, on the side here and yeah. uh, it was a cool matches. They were some, yeah. some good matches. I'm looking forward to our training later on today. Yeah. We're going to be having an international Ooh, look, black look, belt oh seminar. Oh man, head, head, head butt. Uh, head butt. Yeah. Watch Mohammed. Look, gonna, look. We're what? gonna have an international black belt seminar today yeah, at Kazakhstan top team. Yeah. Watch, watch Mohammed uh, Magomed take him down. He did the same thing yesterday. He pushes the shoulder and grabs the side of the knee. It was beautifully executed yesterday. Sure. Anthony, I feel like felt that he might get taken down in pool guard right here. And again, Mohammed's gonna be playing on the knees, trying to connect more like this old school passing chest to chest control or doing. body lock Which they yeah love that's that's his game like if if anthony is going to be playing this style um that's not going to be the best strategy for him all right we have uh, one minute left until the points kick in in my opinion, Anthony has the right strategy right now, at least not not staying standing with uh, with Magomed. And um, let's see, but he has to he has to kind of um, force uh, Magomed be playing more like standing and entering the legs, because if he's gonna let him play on the knees, it's gonna be really hard for him. He feels very comfortable there, like Muhammad feels very comfortable. Yo, guys, feel free to message some questions. If and, you have any questions yeah, about the rule I'm, set, about yeah. the competition. Uh, we, I, I'm, I'm keeping, keeping my eyes on the phone in the comments, so if you have feel free to ask. If you have any questions about us, yeah. the commentators. Don't talk too much crap on us either, please. We'll be glad to answer you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to smack talk, yeah. we'll find you. Yeah. and. We'll just talk about We'll him. choke you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to talk about it. He's, he's about to hunt you guys. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching um, this event from yesterday, what do you think of the performance of Mr. Jarbaev? Someone asking, no heel hooks allowed? Yes, heel, heel hooks, hooks are, are allowed. allowed. They are allowed. Ripping is allowed. Yes. Everything. So yes. All Reaping, the leg heel hooks, yeah. all leg locks yeah. are allowed. Yeah. Everything. Reverse heel hooks, reverse toe holds, everything. Yeah. But only thing that is not allowed 
in this tournament is slams, right? From the submission. Slams to get out of submissions. Yeah. But in general, all slams are illegal, mm -hmm. whether in a submission or mm -hmm. not in a submission. Nice, nice transition, but not enough. No gi is a very, it's very hard to control your opponent to get side control. Usually, when you try to pass, you look for back exposure. But in the first round, uh, Jarbayev was able to secure side control. Anthony did a good job recovering, but he's behind right now. The first round he lost. And if he loses this one, he'll have to just go for submission. Let's see what they can pull off. How many fights should we wait to declare the winner? So as far as I understand, um, Asai Republic is already number one, especially um, if B team loses, that's it, they're, they're going to be number one. That's it, they're, they're already going through two semifinals, so they're going to be the first semifinals. Right now the battle goes to uh, find the second semifinals. It could be B team, it could be a battle force, and the Kazakh Kyrgyzstan team lost twice, right? Yeah, so they have no chance of getting, they have no chance of but they can spoil. But they can, they can spoil, spoil some of this. Yeah. One and two. Yeah. yeah. So Kyrgyzstan team pretty much has nothing to lose, so they're gonna be really dangerous against Asai Republic, and Asai Republic just gotta beat them smart. And if they get third win, so they pretty much has no loss. B team has one win, one one loss. So they B team beat uh, the Kyrgyzstan team yesterday, and lost today to Asai, Team Asai Republic. Does the battle force all train on the same coach or just for the event? No, the, um, it's um, some guys, for example, this guy right here, Magomed Jarbaev, also aka Muhammad, he, he trains in Dagestan, so he's not uh, from this area. He, he, they just called him. So it's, it, oh, nice pass. Nice pass into side control. Do you see the pass? Man. Yes, I did. Yeah, so he was really good. Yes, I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he had a nice car pass. So, so far, uh, Magomed is just winning. He just have to so not get submitted and finish either on point or submission. Anthony, on the other hand, he has to get a submission. A I, like I can't hear you because your mic is low. To beat a guy like this, uh -huh. you have to strategize. You have to strategize. But it also has to be your day. Yes, it has to be your day. Because these guys, they bring the pressure to every fight, yeah. all the time. So it doesn't doesn't look like it's his day. Yeah, <laughs> he's already behind two. Man, but I knew we spoke earlier before the before going yeah. live that whoever's going against Muhammad Jarbaev is going to have a yeah, tough day. It's going to be a tough day, day. Gonna gonna tough a day. Tough day at yeah. the office. Yeah, and some of you probably watching you. You think like, oh, some wrestler is gonna be easy. He's a tough guy, man. He he won some world championships at UWW. It's more like a wrestling grappling. Man, all the guys that I know that compete there, they're really good, really good. Yes. Uh, Round three. Gibran Acosta. Hope I said your name right. It says when are the semifinals? Thank you. When are the semifinals? Sem semifinals will be in December. Sem Semi-finals and finals would be in December, but we're gonna have in August the second qualifiers, uh, qualifiers for yeah, semifinals. So we get the next two teams as the semifinalists in August. Yeah, so pretty much in this event, we're gonna find out who's gonna be two semifinalists. And in August, there's gonna be another event where it's gonna be uh, four teams and we're gonna find second uh, pair of semifinalists. And I believe the next tournament there's gonna be some guys from the uh, the uh, What is it the Danahar squad team like a new wave in August? Yeah in August new wave new and wave. also some Russian teams. Yes for two Dagestani teams. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna be that's sick. Gonna be there's explosive. gonna be one team from Habib's Nurmagomedov team. Ouch. And there's gonna be another one from the kind of uh, uh, So they're a little bit apart of each other both from Dagestan. One's gonna be Universal Fighters. They're from Makhachkova. Yeah, and another one I is Abdul Manap school I think they're more like from the, the village in the, in the mountains mm -hmm. They these two teams they are really competitive with each other nice So that would be really That's interesting really to see. Fun to see I, I, I wonder if, if Habib himself would be up, here as well if new way wow that would be, that sick. Would be cool Yeah, get Habib to join us on the commentator. Yeah, that would huh? be nice <laughs> um, And then that uh, there would be a fourth team 
which was, I think, I think, I remember, like something, someone local, I think. Toligan was telling me, yeah, yeah. Some, so it's going to definitely have yeah, to yeah. be a local team, yeah. yeah. Uh, but um, if New Wave guys come. Yeah, the New Wave guy, he, guys come. There was one guy from Dagestan team who was calling out Gordon Ryan. Yeah, I don't think uh, Gordon Ryan would come to compete. Yeah, he's not going to compete. He's not going to compete. Tolagan, who's the president of IGA, said maybe we are going to get Nicholas Marigali. Here? Yes. That would be sick, too. Get your autograph book ready for yeah, that one. Yeah, for huh? sure. <laughs> if, if, if Gordon's health is okay, he might going to be present here as well. He'll be present, but I don't yeah. think he'll be competing. Yeah, he won't be competing here. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense that the guy at his level try to go against someone and give the guys yeah. with a, you know everything. less exposure. And He's won kinda, everything. So you know, and, and get a chance. Yeah, yeah no, it wouldn't make sense at all. Man, someone who imagine someone fights him and not many people know him and somehow managed to beat him, it's gonna be no, a huge just like, jackpot. like <laughs> score, like get a penalty or something. Yeah. Like I got a penalty. Even do good, like even even match. Do good, yeah. yeah or yeah. lose by just close no, points, it's gonna be it. like definitely a, yeah. not gonna happen. It's gonna raise the stock <laughs> of the guy who <laughs> lost. So let me check that here. Can the team players change in between this event mm -hmm. and the same? Yeah, the team players can change. You know, they they have they have a backup uh, fighters, uh, the competitors. Wow, again, man, this guy is passing so, so yeah, good. So, uh, yeah, to clarify on that, if, mm -hmm. a, if a fighter... Look, 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 he's going... Oh, he went... Oh, he's going for leg lock. Look at this guy. Damn. We have a wrestler going... Shooting the heel hooks. Again. Mm -hmm. Oh. No, I, I don't... I don't okay, see, just, to, just yeah. to clarify, if yeah. a fighter from a losing team does not have the right to join another team... Oh yeah, then yeah. they they you can't. Cannot, yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, in between them, they can, they have the right they to switch. They have an yeah. alternate. They have alternates yeah. for specific weight classes, so they can. But if a fighter loses, if his mm -hmm. team loses, he cannot return to another winner's team. Yeah, I think maybe that 100%. was probably what what somebody was asking. Yeah, man. I, the only way I see Anthony beating him is like either a leg lock or. Uh, choke from the back. back. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's it. I don't see him tapping to armbar. That's the blueprint. Like, yeah. These guys are, I've seen them like, man, they, yeah. the pain resistance is really good. And Oh, man, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, what a passer, huh? Like, man, he just stepped over his head like yeah. he was going to get a Kimura, but just yeah. flattened him out. Someone says, I'm traveling to Kazakhstan soon. What should I expect? What the national dish? The horse meat, man. The horse. Have you eaten horse? Alistair over him that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they really have a uh, they really have a national dish as like a horse meat. And to be clear, what did we have yesterday? Look, look, look. Did we have horse? Hey, yesterday? He's gonna do like small oh, choke. Is he gonna no, just make 50 him? Fifty minutes. Fifty seconds. He can, is he gonna tap him? Uh, he can, but we'll see. The food here is great, guys. You don't the food don't here don't, is don't great. think that it's just a the horse. Hospitality, you know, it's, yeah. The hospitality is great. Fantastic. You have a beautiful mixture of uh, big city and mountains. It looks like it looks like a, like Switzerland. Look at this right here, guys. Arm. Oh, he oh he's gonna. The arms. He's got he it. No. Oh, nice job by Anthony. At least, even if losing, but doesn't go out tapping. Shows good heart and skills of defending submission. Pretty much, it's done here, guys. I don't see any submission happening. And Magomed Jarbayev is taking taking this win. Great fight. We, we didn't get a finish, but it was it was nice to see some passing, submission escape. So that's from one and zero. Oh. Yeah, that's one and zero. Oh. Magomed Jarbayev.